Oh boy. It indeed is I. I'm pretty sure I just butchered that introduction already, but I don't care. Because I'm back once again with another Let's Play episode, which I'm so happy about. Because, holy shit, I love doing these, if you haven't noticed. And there is nothing I love more than just working on these on these Let's Play episodes. Because, like I told you before, it gets the creative flow going, even though I'm just playing a fucking game. <laughs> but, at the same time, you know, I'm not really used to doing, like, voiceovers for my videos. Because I'm either sitting in front of the camera... Or I'm just doing something that doesn't require a voiceover. So I'm still trying to get used to this. If it feels like I'm running stale, please let me know because I will do a non-commentary one of these if I need to. But so far, I don't feel the need to not do a commentary for one of these. Because this is just a lot of fun to do. And I love it. So let's get underway. For this episode, I'll be playing as Bardock, OG Vegeta, and Nappa. Or as I like to call, you know, Team Planet Vegeta because these were probably the most iconic out of the three on Planet Vegeta, so let's get down to it. Whew. I will be real with you though. If I do seem sluggish as Bardock, it's because I am. I literally just practiced with him before I started recording this, so. I'm doing my best, and I know that's what matters, but, anyway, man, what can I talk about that I haven't brought up yet? So, you know, last episode, I brought up, you know, my, my creative roadblock from 2014 up until 2017. Yeah, that was a pretty dreadful period of my life when it came to creativity, because I just didn't have any until my first short film which is great because you know I didn't I didn't have very much to make other than fucking gaming playthroughs which I did a lot of in 2015 with Mortal Kombat X and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 oh boy speaking of Tony Hawk that can't believe they fucking remade the, f the first two games like I, I remember playing the OG one back in like 2015 when it was in the PlayStation Store. I think it was because of Pro Skater 5 that had come out. So they probably decided, hey, let's put the OG on on the PlayStation Store, see how many people buy it. I did buy it, I did play it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I fucking sucked at it. Cause, you know, I haven't played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater in fucking ages. I don't even remember if I've played Underground, so. You know, I go in playing the first one. I'm thinking, man, this would probably be like, you know, a much more improved version of Pro Skater 5. So, I did. I was wrong. I should have never played 5 so much because of how fucking simple it was. That game got a lot of flack for whatever reason. Because I, I love Pro Skater 5. I mean, it's not one of my favorites of all time, but, you know, it, it passed the time. It was fun. It had some cute activities. I don't, I don't see what's so bad about that, but, you know, teach their own, but, yeah, dude, they fucking remade the first two Pro Skater games, that's so fucking cool, I'm not gonna get my copy until, like, less than a week after, so, I got time, I got patience anyway, it's not like I can fucking do anything because of this pandemic, <laughs> whew, now, that fucking sucks, though, because, you know, I had so much planned this year, I had like, a huge ass list to do for this year and you know once COVID-19 swept the entire globe all of those plans just stopped they had to come to a halt because of a pandemic that that's putting a lot of people in, in danger and I even know a couple of people that it's put in danger so that that hits even harder and also the fact that some people still believe it's a hoax is what annoys me the most because you know like I said I've, I know I know people personally that have that have come down with the virus and based on what they've told me it sounds fucking dreadful 
you know, coughing every fucking minute, every 30 seconds. Not having any taste buds. I, I'm grateful I don't have it, but I still hate it for them. Because I just can't fucking bear the thought of not having taste buds. Or coughing excessively, because I get enough of that during allergy season. Not the taste buds part, just... <laughs> just, uh... Just me coughing every five seconds. But, um... Yeah, it sounds fucking dreadful. I initially thought I actually I had actually come down with it at one point because my my muscles were cramping like fucking shit one night during work. I thought I thought I'd come down with it, but but when I got home, you know, I wasn't showing any symptoms. So I checked my fever, and of course it was like 101, and then it turned out it was just allergies. Because I remember, oh wait, it's mid-March, there's fucking pollen everywhere. There's no fucking way it's COVID. I haven't come into contact with anyone. So, yeah, it was definitely allergies. I fucking hate allergy season this year specifically because it happened at the same time that a global pandemic did. And, you know, the whole time I'm thinking, oh God, if it's fucking COVID, I'm going to kill myself. I will kill myself before this virus does. But no, I was actually more relieved that it was it was allergies. But that still pissed me off because oh, it fucking scared me. I was fucking terrified. I'm like, "Oh god damn it." So yeah, I took some Theraflu lemon tea. I did it for two nights in a row even though the second day I was starting to feel better, but I took some anyway just to be safe. And just like that, my allergies were I guess under control, which is good. So Enough about that bullshit story. It's not bullshit. It actually did happen, but you get the memo. Anything I spout in a commentary is just a bunch of bullshit. Not bullshit, bullshit. Just me spouting nonsense because I'm looking for shit to talk about. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm super stoked for the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games to be remade. The first two specifically because that's the only ones that are coming out. So... Come to think of it, like the only the only skate games that I've ever played are obviously skates one, two, three, the first Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and the fifth one, because I had other interests in regards to video games, and I, it totally slipped my mind that, that the pro that the Pro Skater games and the Underground games were a thing when I was growing up. So clearly, I forgot about that, but. I guess this is my redemption. I guess this September would be my redemption to you know, get back into that groove. As far as other games go this year, I've only played, what, two new games this year? Man. I don't know if it's just because I'm a fucking hipster when it comes to video games. Or just the fact that I haven't really had motivation to play anything new. Like the only new games I've gotten this year were Kakarot and Resident Evil 3, the remake, obviously. I sp like I spent like 90 hours on the main story for Kakarot, so yeah, the the main story is definitely around around that long. You know, when I initially played this, I was like, "Oh, this is new." Well, this is new for the first time in a while because how many? How many role-playing games has, has Bandai Namco made for Dragon Ball? Just think about that. Because I can only name three, two, one of which I haven't played. Which are the first two Legacy of Gokus and, and Boost Fury. So, I haven't played Boost Fury. I, I saw an old friend of mine play it once. It looked fun. I should have gotten it when I still had a Game Boy. But, snooze you lose. But before Kakarot had come out, I was thinking, man, this is probably this is probably just gonna be the Dragon Ball Z story retold as it is and so many other games that I've played. Cause let's be honest, when do they not tell the Dragon Ball Z story? Like in that in that fashion. When when do they not you know go from start to finish? Sometimes they even skip good parts, major parts, whatever you want to call it. And just just lay it out in some fashion, whether it's 
whether it's Budokai or Budokai Tenkaichi or Burst Limit, Raging Blast, Ultimate Tenkaichi, Battle of Z. Oh god, don't get me fucking started on Battle of Z. I hated that fucking game. <laughs> that was the worst birthday present I ever got myself. Well, I'm not gonna include Xenoverse because the Xenoverse series was an original story. Like, everything on current gen up until Kakarot was an original story. Because, although Xenoverse did take elements from... It did take elements from the main story. They changed it up a bit because, you know, obviously people are tired of playing the main story. So, they're gonna switch it up a bit, throw in some demons that supposedly related to Deborah. And just like, let's fuck with time. And so they did. But yeah. You know, Xenoverse is a different story, so I'm not gonna count those. Fighter Z, especially, because everybody knows Android 21 is not a real thing. <laughs> but yeah, you know, Kakarot was, was a throwback, was nostalgic, and it was a breath of fresh air for old school fans and new alike. Because, let's think about it, they haven't made a, a Dragon Ball role-playing game since Boost Fury. So you go in playing this, you're thinking, oh god, it's another, it's another game retelling Z. But here's the thing, it covers every single piece of the show. And it doesn't even, well actually it does go into, uh, go into bits that would even covered in the anime. And there's so many side quests to do, there's so many training sessions. And then, the first DLC is already out, right? I played that. I'm like, how the fuck am I gonna reach level 250? And I'm not even, I'm not even level 100 yet. Because there's no way I'm gonna play this game to death. And level up to 100. Or level 150. So I'm just thinking, how the fuck am I gonna do this? So... The DLC comes out, turns out you can use Sacred Waters to level up, which was fucking great. I'm glad. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was really ha I was really satisfied with Kakarot. I had never put in so much time in a game in such a consistent manner than I did with that game. Because it was great. It was, it was a breath of, it's, it's definitely not the best one I've played in recent years. Truthfully, if I did have to pick, I would say Fighter Z is probably the best Dragon Ball game that I've played in recent years. Xenoverse 2 is a close second, but yeah. Kakarot was great. The DLC, the DLC really helped me level up with my other characters, because you can use those sacred waters on on the other characters that you know can't reach Beerus' planet, so. I got that. I got Resident Evil 3. It was fun. But it was too short. That was my only issue with Resident Evil 3, was that it was too short. It was nice that you could switch between Jill and... What was his name? Godless? I think it was. Um, yeah. It was too short. It was great. I fucking loved who they selected for, um, for Jill. Because she was spot on. The voice actress was fucking great for the role so I absolutely cannot complain there but yeah it's so fucking weird that I've only played two new games this year and the only game that I have lined up to get next is a fucking remake so I don't know if I'm just burned out from playing new games or there's just not anything I want to play right now I do have all the doom games on my wish list so if anybody wants to get those, you let me know, but I'm not going to ask anyone personally, specifically. I'm not even going to demand it because I'm not desperate to play them. I'm not desperate to play any new games right now, especially when I've got my hands full with these Let's Plays. So, we'll see how this goes. Because right now I'm still playing the hard mode. And as you've noticed, I'm like a fucking beast with Nappa. It was like when I, if if you've if you've been watching this stream and not just listening to me, you, you'll notice that I I fucking plow through these people with Nappa. I love it. 
because I've been practicing a lot with him in the enemy warrior arc of the story mode on hard because I started I went back and started playing the hard mode I get my ass whooped like every two three attempts at each map it fucking sucks but <laughs> I can't I can't complain because even when you do have to go back and redo the whole map you still keep all the XP that you've earned throughout the attempt throughout each attempt so yeah I'm a fucking beast with Nappa but um yeah I, I got my hands full with these let's plays so these next three weeks are gonna be great and you know if I finish before the Tony Hawk games come out I'm not sure what I'm gonna play next because I legitimately don't have anything in mind to replay right now and that's so weird because like if if I can't find any new games to play or if I just if I'm just fucking bored and there's something I haven't played in so long that I really have the urge to replay then I'll go back and replay them because you know ever since I played Kakarot I had this huge urge to go back and replay all the current Gen Dragon Ball games I plowed through Xenoverse, including the DLC, the quests, and whatnot. I fucking plowed. Actually, no, I didn't plow through the second one because, like, right in the middle of me getting the extras pack, um, the DLC for Kakarot had come out, so that interrupted me. But once, once I finished with the DLC, because I was just doing a lot of side quests, thanks to the Sacred Waters. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, after I just plowed through all the extra quests on, on Kakarot, I went back, finished up the Extras Pack DLC, and I, pl I just, just ran through it. The story mode, the options, everything. Even the quests were great, but the final one is such a pain in the ass because you have to have Z Broly on your team fight against Super Broly, and it's just stressful. It's so stressful because if he dies, you lose. <laughs> and here I am replaying Fighter Z, doing these let's plays because I'm fucking bored, and I want to keep the creative flow I have going. So, in due time, you'll see why I need this creative flow. But for right now, let's just enjoy the time we have. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Whatever you're doing, please subscribe because I'm going to be doing more of these. Bye bye.